Hey bosses, welcome back to Boss Confidential. We are so thrilled to talk about how to say no, which is really important. And that is okay to say no. It is. And hopefully we'll provide some tips because all three of us struggle with this. Yes. 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 It's so hard. For years, I always thought that I had to do everything. And I think that was because my parents never let me quit anything when I was younger. Mm. And I feel like a lot of people can relate. They're like, no, you need to see this through. <laughs> and I, and then I started thinking like, well, if I quit, then I'm going to miss out on this and this and this. And then I get worked up and I get like anxious about not knowing uh, what is happening if I'm not a part of it. And finally, maybe like three years ago, I finally realized, which is like the best tip ever, that the world keeps spinning without you. It does. <laughs> there. I think what's really important is to know that you come first. So mm-hmm. if your plate is being overloaded or you feel like, you know, there's someone's like asking you for something and you're just like, you want to say no, just say no, you guys. Like it, it, you come first. And I'm literally so passionate about this because I'm speaking to myself. Because well. <laughs> I'm like, can't say no. And it goes with everything. Not even just work, but even just like going out, you know? Yeah, exactly. But I'm that person like, I want to be invited, but you need to know that I'm not coming. See, for like- example, <laughs> for example, Melinda has a performance tonight at midnight and she keeps trying to get me to go and I cannot tell her no. <laughs> I'm just, you know, guilt tripping. But I know she's not coming, but you know. Midnight is late, y'all. It is late. It's, it's late, late for me. I'm practically asleep on stage. Um, but yeah, I struggle with saying no a lot because I always want to help people as mm-hmm. well. But I think what you need to take a step back and think about before you say yes is, are you going to do a half ass job for whatever this person's asking of you? Or are you going to be able to put your energy and, and do a quality you know job for whatever they need you to? So if you think you're not going to do it very well, say no. Yeah. Just say no. And I think it, it it's a constant reminder to us all that – when we do have those moments where we overextend ourselves like I'm at a time in my life right now where I need to put myself in check because I overextended myself Mm -hmm. this week Mm -hmm. and I'm stressed out and I'm not Mm -hmm. getting sleep and I'm tired because I said yes to too many things because the you know the guilt trips come in and people are relying on you and you know you start to feel all these emotions and next week I need to like have a conversation with myself separate the emotions girl stop thinking that people need you there because they don't the world goes on without you you know you carry on and do what you need to do for your sanity and things will still happen right um and it takes time but once you're there it feels really good to be like actually no yeah (laughs) don't even say you're sorry i'm like so sick of people saying like no i'm sorry I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry I yeah. said no. Yeah, right. just say no. Just say not no, I'm <laughs> sorry. Just be like, right. nah, bitch. No, don't say bitch. Um, but no, it's okay to get rid of something as well. Mm-hmm. If you have too much on your plate and you, you have a lot of things, I've had to do that. I've had to say no to a lot of things or take things out of the equation because I just didn't have time and I was feeling overwhelmed. So it's okay to get rid of something. This conversation You're still gonna get opportunities, reminds so go me of – No, no, no. Um, I'm thinking of uh, – what's that movie – um, 27 Dresses where she's sitting with James Marsden and oh, they're yeah. at the bar and he's like it's okay to say no and she's like no and she's practicing saying no and he's like can I have a sip of your drink she's like sure no <laughs> <laughs> oh it's just such a cute scene but yeah no we need to we need to work on it practice saying no yeah so it's okay basically just own it own yeah. the word it's like one of the first words that we learn when we're babies mm-hmm. um and there's a reason you know <laughs> <laughs> no is like the most fun word and it, it holds so, it holds so much power and it's the same in every language exactly yeah and don't feel bad about it just no you know i'm busy i gotta take care of myself no i can't do this and you'll know in your gut you'll yeah. you'll know in your gut if you really want to say no or not because mm-hmm. i'm one of those people too yeah. where it's like i want to go but i don't want to just listen to your gut yeah no so that means she's not coming to my show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really curious to see how many of you are practicing the power of no. Mm. So if you can, tweet us or Instagram us at Boss Please Pod. And I want to hear about a no story. Leave it on any of our photos. Tweet me. I will check it. it. I will retweet it. I want to know because I love powerful women saying no. And yes. I need to be better about it. So we need to support each other. Mm-hmm. Amen. Let us yeah. know. <laughs> All right. See you guys next week. See you next week. Bye. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Boss Please Pod. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on iTunes. Navigate the path to your best self with us because bossing together is always better.